What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because they just released another newsletter. This one is called Room Clearing. Again, from the very generous Guinevere who has been on it lately. So let's go ahead and start with the introduction here. Hey everyone, it's time for another edition of our bi-weekly Ready or Not newsletters. We'll be taking a look at some short videos of player-controlled SWAT officers clearing rooms together. Interesting. With a particular focus on the situational awareness and shot placements. Room clearing. Heavy breathing. Heard through thin walls. Shadow shit behind a plastic sheet. The muffled racking of a handgun slide. Choked sobs. Footsteps. One shot is all it takes. One shot and it's all over. For them or for you. Go. Ooh, describing the scene. I love it. Survival of the fittest in this type of situation. I guess it makes sense because it is close quarters and it's either you or him, right? Continuing on. The single player and cooperative experiences of Ready or Not are its focal point. And as such, we have to ensure they're tense, high stakes, and immersive. In this newsletter, we wanted to showcase some of the situations players might run into on a call, as well as pitfalls to avoid. And there's a little mini video here of room clearing. Underneath the video it says, suspects, shadows, and shots fired. Short clip of players engaging AI. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So the video is of, I believe, two to three SWAT officers starting out in like some sort of area that's under construction. This is either meth or hotel. I'm pretty sure it's hotel because if I remember correctly, they showed off that the hotel is actually under construction at the very top when you go through the elevators or take the stairs. And also the hotel features a certain suspect that we'll see is only featured in the hotel map as far as I can tell. So wait till we get to that. But the main character here is actually holding an M4, unmodded it seems. Although it has to have a flashlight, right? The other SWAT officer to the right is holding an S r16 or an hk416 i can't really tell but it looks like his gun is pretty dead there as far as i can tell the swat officer behind both other officers we don't really get to see but you could always see like his flashlight following the officers throughout the whole video but anyways they're going in like this bit of a circle here and they end up killing this dude which i believe if i'm not mistaken he is actually a white supremacist and also he's a part of a biker gang i think it was if i remember correctly he appears to be holding some sort of ak variant i'm assuming the ak-74 but i can't really tell but yeah this is obviously showing off the pve here because you don't fight these types of npcs in pvp or at least as far as i can tell void interactive has been freaking weird you know and they could add like random stuff and you don't even know especially with the new uh publisher so we're gonna have to see about that one but anyways I gotta say that the particles look pretty good whenever they shoot something like the dude shoots the piece of wood and actually chunks of wood actually go flying and somebody shoots like something that's on the wall you see powder come from the wall the guns don't have a whole lot of flashing so that's pretty good i'd say and it actually looks pretty good the way that he died but the one thing that I really have to criticize here is um, kind of like the third person animations here like they look a bit like janky like if you look at the guy that's on the right side right there it looks like his hand is not even gripping the gun there it looks like he's holding the gun wrong like his left hand is holding the trigger while his right hand isn't even doing anything and when he's kind of like walking around like it just doesn't look right like it looks pretty stiff when he's going around that corner like, they seriously need to work on those third person animations so yeah that looks a bit awkward they need to work on the third person animations but the first person animation looks pretty good if there was another thing to complain about, I'd say that the flashlights are still a bit too small in terms of the radius. You should definitely make that look bigger. I mean, at least they made it so that you can see better in the dark with them, but still, I feel like they're too small. It's funny because like a few seconds ago, I actually heard the original audio for this, and uh, I don't know if I want to really talk about it, but it's interesting to hear the comparison than hear the freaking music that's in the background. The music just makes it seem more cool than it actually is from the, <laughs> the version that I saw. But anyways, the way that the guy went down was pretty good. It's just the third person SWAT animation they just don't look right again the guy that's not holding the, the weapon right like i can't tell if he's just like reloading his weapon or if it's just the way that he's holding it i think he's just holding it weird but uh, yeah that's all i really got to say about that let's push on to the next thing here in this clip the flashbang thrown proves ineffective and officers use lethal force when the suspect failed to comply and drop his weapon while successful in eliminating the threat an officer's duty is to the preservation of life above all else yep 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 you're supposed to be someone who arrests people and brings them to justice you're not freaking rambo they don't give you a M60 to start gunning down people. That's not the type of job that you signed up for. It got me. Of course, I'm sure there's going to be people that freaking shoot everybody anyway, you know, just for the fun of it. But if you want to get those points, if you want to get to the next mission, you have to make sure that you follow them rules. You know me. But anyways, remember to implement less than lethal equipment to take suspects alive whenever feasible. Me and my buddies like to freaking go in with nothing but lethal weapons and try our best to get everybody without having to use less than lethal weapons. Because less than lethal weapons kind of feel like easy mode, you know? We like to challenge ourselves and go with nothing but lethal weapons and try not to 
use them as much. Yeah, so fun in games, but uh, let's move on here. Up next, we got another video. We've got this one called Room Clearing. Underneath the video, it says, A bloody confrontation with a civilian in the mix. Check your shots. Let's take a look at that bad boy. Well, this one's a fairly decent sized uh, clip here. 20 seconds. It's longer than the clips I usually look at. So the clip starts out with two SWAT officers up front. Obviously, one put a C2 charge on the door there, and the other one is ready to throw in a bang. He blows up on the door, the dude tosses in the bang. Before I go any further, I kind of want to point out that this guy on the right here is holding up a modern FAL with a hollow sight EOTech, I believe. The guy on the left, I think, also has an HK416. He's wearing a gas mask, and this guy seems to also be wearing a gas mask. So I am to assume that there is something going on with the, the fumes or something, or the air. It looks like they're going into the kitchen area. As soon as they hear the bang, they both walk up, and they see a civilian right there, but they also see a suspect in the background. What's interesting about this is that for like a split second, you can see the suspect actually grab onto the civilian and hold him at gunpoint. But I believe the officer that's in front actually dispatches the guy before he could actually get an actual hold on him. I can't necessarily tell though, because it seems like he might have also just let him go and just started to shoot at the officer, but I'm not entirely sure it was a bit too fast there. But anyways, the officers take a bit of a break here by standing in the doorway, probably conferring on what they want to do next they still see the civilian right there and they're just kind of like pushing around to see if they could actually see anybody else in the background there the officer in front starts to slowly move in and the other guy is on his shoulder here oh snap and then we see a freaking ai just pop out of nowhere the moment that he saw the flashlight he like popped out and started shooting him he killed the first officer and the guy behind him shot him and killed him i believe the ai had a glock so we got an officer down two suspects down and one civilian that's still right there in the middle that was actually a pretty interesting clip right there so the ai is actually going to wait for you this is going to give me like second thought if I ever decide to actually go through a door here like was that everybody just the fact that the dude was like waiting for you to like cross that door right there that was actually a pretty good thing that they showed up there now quick question is that AI actually as good as it looks or is it just like a set piece like is the AI gonna spring into action as soon as you cross over that door big question hopefully that gets answered like is it actually that dynamic or am I gonna hit that freaking thing every single time hope I get an answer but anyways the two suspects look like they're cartel members because I believe if I'm not mistaken the cartel Cartel is basically on the bottom of the hotel while the white supremacists are at the very top. And as the SWAT are fighting their way through, they have to go through the cartel to get to the white supremacists. It's an interesting thing with the hotel because you're going into the middle of like a gunfight between the white supremacists and the cartel, and you as SWAT have to tame them both. And the hotel is not a small map, too. It's a big freaking map, so they could be hiding freaking everywhere. I will say that this AI is definitely good looking, far better than I thought it was going to be. But let's push on here. This next paragraph actually tells us what's in the video video itself. Hopefully we could get a better description than what I just witnessed. It says, the video above showcases a well-coordinated breach, but an uncompliant suspect and a civilian held hostage quickly makes matters messy. Okay, so he did actually hold him hostage for a split second. I wasn't going crazy. The officers have to be careful with their shots and hope that the civilian doesn't panic and move. A second suspect hiding around the corner quickly moves and takes the point officer by surprise, killing him. Awareness not only of what threats you have eliminated, but of what threats might still remain will help keep your team effective and alive. Interesting. Red or not suspects have their own backgrounds, histories, and desires that impact how they behave. What, are they gonna scream at us? Wow, man, I can't go back to jail. You know, like that type of shit. As the situation in any given level unfolds, the threats they face and their morale will change how they react to the player. No two confrontations will play out the same way. So, does that mean that it's not a freaking set piece? Hmm, interesting. In conclusion, that brings us to the end of the 14th edition of our development update featuring room clearing against the suspect AI. Okay, so, I mean, this was another small one, but um, we actually got to see how the AI kind of looks there, and it uh, it actually looks pretty good if that's what the AI looks like, you know? I was not expecting that second dude to actually come out and try to, like, shoot him as he tried to, like, get into that room right there. That was, like, a really sneaky thing the AI did there. That's actually something I would expect from somebody to do in, like, real life. Like, wait until somebody tries to get into the room and then run out and... 
gun as many as you can down but uh yeah all right so i'm gonna end it here what are your guys' thoughts are you surprised at the ai as much as i am let me know if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like radio now then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding the bell you never know you might find something that you like on the channel stick around i cover a lot of tactical games if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon just send 10 bucks a month it really helps with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye